but did it feel good though? Hi, I'm Trash Common, and today we're talking about rice gum and iDubs. Yay! Well, how about his latest response to iDubs? Is it good? No, 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 no. Let's begin, shall we? I just type an R, I mean, I should pop up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's me right there, I'm famous enough. It looks like you're losing a lot of subscribers. <laughs> Actually, before this video came out, you were gaining subscribers back, and this was a point I wanted to bring up in my original video on the subject. If you just took the criticism you were dealt and didn't make a big deal out of it, you wouldn't be back in the downward spiral in your own words. In fact, I want to point out at the time of me scripting this, you have more subs than your actual video. Yeah, you're losing subs now, but that's after your video came out. You were getting your subs back. What? <laughs> no, don't jump. You still have a lot to live for. If you guys are unaware, iDubbbz dropped a content cop on me. In the video, he portrays me as like this money hungry, I only care about money, I only care about fame and myself, and I'm very boastful and bragging and flexing to everyone. Money, money, money. Must be funny. And ever since he dropped that video, I've been getting a ton of hate. I've been seeing comments like, Rice, it's over. You can't come back after this. Just give up. There's no point. And even if that was the case, and even if it was over, my career is over, like, I owe it to my true fans to just put up a fight. I can't just sit here and not reply. So well, actually, you could. You could be the bigger man and make it seem like you're not affected by it. Or you could've, if you just didn't make that stupid reaction video stealing your fate. I'm not saying I need a month to make a response. I'm just saying, like, give me, like, a day or two to come up with something, but, like, Cocaine is a hell of a drug. With that being said, there's a lot of things I want to talk about, and since he made a diss track, I mean, that's kind of what I started, and you know, kind of what I do, he kind of like stole that from me. So I feel like it's okay that I can, you know, steal the way he structures his videos. Why the hell would you use a Sharangan eye for this? This isn't really a point, this is just something that's weird to me. So ever since he dropped his Rice Gum Exposed video or whatever, I've been losing subs, getting dislikes, everyone's saying my career has fallen off, all the I've already stated that you were getting those subs back in until this video, but your dislikes on your videos, well, let's take your reaction video for the content cop. Money, money, money. You practically wasted everyone's time with it, and didn't bother to make anything out of it other than a poor cash grab. Now, that's just my subjective opinion. Others may view it as a comedy skit, while I can see the elements in it for it, I didn't find it funny. This isn't the end-all be-all as to why you're getting dislikes, everyone can dislike a video for whatever reason they choose. And I don't know why people disliked it. I can't read minds. Yet. This stuff, and funny enough, I'm the one that asked for this. You would think I'm like kind of scared, trying to lay low a little bit, but no, guys, like I'm not nervous, I'm not scared at all. I actually kind of, I, I don't really. I made that video a year ago when YouTube was like dead, and I was just trying to stir up some controversy. And you make it sound like it's a good thing. Wow. See, it's about time, man. You know, it took a year, but I finally got my content cut. No, but all seriousness, it was a really good video. I mean, you gotta give credit where credit is due. The purpose of a YouTube video is to be funny and entertaining. The video was funny and entertaining. It was really long. He did his research, he put a lot of time in, he got PewDiePie, there was a diss track. He just really went hard, and you just gotta give him props for it. 20 minutes later. This guy is literally in love with me. He is obsessed with me. Get off of my dick, bruh. I'm the one that asked for this. You me. He is obsessed with me. I'm the one that asked for this. You I'm the one that asked for this. Soka. Seriously, what's with the Naruto images? I get the cute girls for the segment, but... Yeesh. At the start of his video, right, his first main point, the first thing he talks about, right, he could've easily put this at the end of the video, but you know, some people might not watch the full video, right? So he made sure to put this at the start of the video so everyone sees it, right? Well, that was extremely repetitive. You should show the clip of you saying the rape comment. Guys, I literally cringe every time I watch this, but the thing is, like, this is kind of old news. Like, I remember I was getting roasted for this, like, a year ago. I hate some people because they do stuff like this. Because he laughed at a rape victim. Exposing rice gum for mocking a girl who was raped. Him making fun of the rape victim on stream. But just in case you don't, Here's the clip. Another small nitpick, but lovely fact checking you have there. Elvis' video was made in 2016, not 17, so this is the editing of an 8 million sub channel. Huh. Secondly, no duh he brought up, because in your original video talking about your supposed wanting of a contact cop, you brought up your past of Goofy Kid as a means of what you were expecting iDubs to bring up. He was critiquing your choice of that. And just because it was over a year ago, that doesn't mean that you're absolved from the criticism of it. Especially since what you did afterwards was dubious. Trying to pass the buck off onto Onision. You know. 
and let's uh take it out of context and you know cut out all the good parts and let's just make him look as bad as possible so, that, so that's exactly what he did he posted this ironically is what you do in this video not apologizing until you were called out and even putting five ads on your long apology video that wasn't even on your main channel now that i think about it there are five ads on this video too this isn't something new and i get why other youtubers you know may be offended because they might you know really take this rape thing seriously and it is serious but out of everyone i don't should not be the one calling me out stopping you right there since what ricegum does next is show off tweets from idubs but let's look towards his twitter screen capture Wow, you are really cherry picking here, because frankly, anyone who's looking at the screen right now can tell that the majority of these are actually done in responses. But obviously, we're missing out on a lot of context here with the tweets. Considering the number of tweets there are on iDub's Twitter, it's not impossible to get context for most of these. Except for one. So the context is this. iDub's, he does this because he's an internet predator also known as a sex devon. Lovely spelling. And then we get to iDub's response that you show. Oh, would you look at that? He's playing along with the joke. I'm sure there's a lot more context out there for these tweets, but a majority of the tweets are obviously jokes, and not the actual expense of victims. Whereas your joke, Rice, it was in response to her telling you of the traumatic event. Not to mention, you also revealed her location at the time. Wait, are you in college? Yeah. What college? <clears throat> uh, Portland State. Idub's jokes were made to playing along with the jokes, or obviously being doing it for shock value, not directed at a victim. <laughs> Like, if she's not mad, why are you guys mad? Because you didn't apologize until you were called out! <laughs> if this apology of yours came up before you were called out, then yeah, people calling out would be dumb. But that's not what happened, now is it? I just took it as a joke, you know, I, I should have been more mature and... Feel bad because not to just you though, just to all the rape victims out there, and just like it wasn't funny, you know what I mean? And, and I just. No, so bad. Wow. You may want to get a refund for those acting classes, Rice. Now let me say this, it is good that she accepted your apology. It's nice that she didn't take offense to your insensitivity and lack of common sense. However, you seem to think that's what people are criticizing you solely for. I already stated that your late apology and how you went about it are what a part of it, but another issue is that your flawed character remains and can still be criticized. <laughs> It's official, I'm gonna call you a Narutard now. This is what I live for, man. This I believe it! Hey, I think it's an improvement. He shows a lot of like old livestream clips from like two to three years ago, and at this point it's getting annoying, man. I just need to talk about it. So I used to live stream on this website like two to three years ago, and on that website, basically all it was was just people that played video games and they were live streaming. And honestly, it was kind of boring because everyone did the same thing. They sat there and just played video games. And being a small content creator, I mean, you guys know it's so hard to grow, you know, starting out. So you have to be different. I can oh, is that what you decided to view bot? Let me check this Boom! <laughs> right there. <laughs> not know what this is but this right here is a viewbot control panel I either sit there and play games and you know be boring or i could sit there play games and just call random girls and make people laugh and that's exactly what i did yeah that's nice but that wasn't the point of him showing your clips the point was that you were recording people without the permission no but i'm not streaming though i just wanted to call you oh you're not no i know i just wanted to call you and just talk I'm not live right now, right? No, no, no. Basically, we were just chilling on Omegle. She didn't know that I was live to 3,000 people. <laughs> That's why he showed that. Not that you were a Twitch streamer and made cringy content, but you did some really stupid stuff that ended up being hypocritical on your part and a later point in his video. <laughs> make is two years ago I had that high school humor I, I was young I was just making stupid jokes but I understand why people got offended because people take offense to different things I'm sorry for all the shit I was saying two years ago how I saw it was like this was just the content I had to make to work my way to the top I'm not ashamed of any of these old clips because I mean this was me back in high school no, but I'm not streaming though I just wanted to call you oh you're not no I know I just wanted to call you and just talk no 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 no, no, no. I already explained why this wasn't why he showed the clips it was for
very old content that no one gets to see, and I feel like we should go back and check out some of iDub's old videos because I mean, who knows? I mean, let's go to his YouTube channel and let's check out his first YouTube video. Here we go, right here, first YouTube video. Boom. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Kickstarter crap. Wait a minute. He just said, welcome back. From where? This is his first video. Does that mean he deleted his first video? I remember he made a lot of jokes about Leafy being insecure because he was hiding his chin, so he was like insecure about his chin, but like, I thought he was just throwing up gang signs. You see, because if you're a pussy and you're hiding your putrid, malformed chin behind your hand, you're showing people that you are extremely self-conscious. So apparently he's insecure because he's hiding his chin, which makes a lot of sense, but like, is iDubs deleting his videos, hiding something from us because he's insecure about his old videos? Oh, hey, I see a similar point to what Leafy did. And you could have looked for the Cyber Matrix series. That would have been much more hard-hitting in a video than playing Slenderman Gangnam Style. Idubs mocks his own content. A cringy Slenderman Gangnam Style video. You like Slenderman Gangnam Style, dude? That's what he does. Also, here's a clip from the random shark who does another point that I think is better done in his own words. He's insecure about his old video? And that everyone changes as a person. I'm not bringing up all these old clips to make him look bad. I'm just trying to say everyone changes as a person, and as a content creator, your content is going to change with your personality, right? And while I agree with this sentiment that people change over time, and that iDubs has certainly shifted his persona as he's gotten more comfortable with himself as a creator, any and all points Ricegum may have made in this section are pretty much null and void because of a statement that he makes later on in the video. How are you going to tell me who I am as a person? As if you know me. Get off of my dick. So if iDubs can't make assumptions about your content, seems a bit hypocritical and moronic to make assumptions about why he got rid of his older videos. And chances are it had less to do with insecurity and more to do with a huge shift in genre, considering he decided to make an entire channel dedicated to games instead of continuing it on his main. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5. Today we'll be looking at a few different mods. So if you're gonna hate on me for who I was two years ago, just unsubscribe because you know damn well you're not the same person you were two years ago. Well, I haven't heard something like that since. There's you got you're a disgusting person if you're cheating, hacking, and you don't belong in Pokemon, you don't belong making these never again. So another main point that iDubs made it, it seemed like it really bothered him, but apparently I flex too much. Money, money, money. Flex too much. He will often flex in his music videos. Nice twenties, I need blue on my bills. Wrist looking like the fifty bands. I'm gonna flex on my wrist. Okay, I know I'm not an A-list rapper, but if you're gonna get mad at me for flexing in a song, then you need to get mad at the whole world in hip hop because everyone does it. Eight hundred dollar off white. Three thousand dollars. Four hundred and fifty dollars. A thousand dollars. One like six thousand. Okay, so all those clips were gathered in a span of two years, which means I don't really have to sit there and watch all my videos. So thanks for the view, bro. Well, you show that he wasn't just talking about your music videos and you decide to just ignore that and say, lols, thanks for the views, bros. Brilliant! Brilliant! Also, that's really generalizing of rap, you know. Not every rap song or rap artist is flexing about what they own and what they are showing off in their videos. <laughs> personal preferences, there's probably someone out there that will match your personal preference, so go watch someone else. I think that's a perfectly fair statement, but you shouldn't preface it by saying, Guys, I'm not showing off I'm rich. These are just things that I do on an everyday basis. You absolutely are showing off. Just fucking own it. If you're showing off, you're showing off. Okay, you know what? Maybe he has a point. Maybe I do flex a lot, and I can see why people might find this annoying. So, you just admitted to flexing a lot. What the hell was the point of the last few minutes? Folks, they just did not care. But before you guys hate on me, I'm sorry, but like, put yourself in my shoes. Imagine growing up and going to school and seeing all your friends have these cool stuff, and you know, you kind of want that stuff too, but at the time, you didn't have enough money. Okay, you know, I'm not actually gonna believe you because contrary to what you say, you were born and raised in Las Vegas. You admitted to having turned down Harvard scholarships, and not to mention that you were paying for views on Twitch. Not know what this is, but this right here is a viewbot control panel. Gotcha, bitch. You have to forgive me because I don't believe what you just said. And one day I decided, you know what? I'm tired of being broke. Let's try to get rich. You know, so I sat in my room and made some, you know, live stream stuff, and you know, I really didn't get paid a lot. I was writing, but I, mean, I didn't get paid a lot at the time. And then somehow I started doing YouTube, and you know, I was getting paid through YouTube. And next thing you know, I'm moving out of my parents' house. I'm living in LA. It all happened so fast, and I just started buying all this stupid stuff and just started flexing. And I mean, I'm not sorry for it because this is my money, and I'll spend it however the f I want. I don't tell you guys how to spend your money. I'm gonna continue to buy all these nice things. I mean, that's just what I'm gonna do. But like, I'm not delusional. You know, I'll take some constructive criticism. 
No, you cannot. You cannot take criticism. Most of this video thus far is you dodging the criticism that's been leveled at you or ignoring it. So now I know that like not everything I buy has to be shown off and announced. Like, look guys, you know, not everything I buy has to be that way, you know? Most of the people don't even care and I'll just keep that information to myself because like why am I even flexing on the people that put money in my pocket? Please, kill me. Speak on the topic of stretching videos out to the 10 minute mark for the sake of more ad revenue. You just stretch your outro out, three minutes long, four minutes long. That's fucking retarded. I love you guys. Subscribe if you're new. Comment. I read all comments. And now I try to make this video somehow 10 minutes. Okay, I've only done this like a handful of times, right? I'm sorry, I guess, but like, I kind of learned this from like my favorite YouTube. Even though I'm not moving, but it just- Yeah, and you make it seem like it's alright for PewDiePie to do it. It's not. If you have to extend the length of a video just to reach the 10 minute mark, then there are plenty of ways to do it without having a cheap and lazy route. Bloopers, announcements, hell, maybe even try something new. Just because PewDiePie doesn't, that doesn't make it right. Hell, I had to go to the age-old question, if PewDiePie jumped off a bridge, would you do it? <laughs> And like, holy hell, you really are stretching out those videos with all these clips. There's nothing wrong with examples, but holy hell, you don't need to include every single clip like that you need. Just give us one example, and bam, you're done! You are making your video into a bloated mess to the point that it matches the size of your ego. <laughs> I find this pretty ironic that your friend and someone that was in the video roasting me is someone that does it more than anyone on YouTube. So if you're gonna call anyone out on it, call out PewDiePie, but you probably won't because you're a dick writer. I'm the one that asked for this. Uh-huh. And what makes you think that he does approve of PewDiePie doing it? I don't often speak on the topic of stretching videos out to the 10 minute mark for the sake of more ad revenue. Particularly with the ad apocalypse stuff going on. If that's some people's hustle, no problem with it. The also, this isn't PewDiePie's point, it's iDubs. If PewDiePie was making it, then hey, you'd actually have a legitimate criticism. But here, do you? No, 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 no. You are basically doing a non sequitur. You're trying to dismiss the argument on something that iDubs does not do. Plus, once again, we don't know if he actually does approve PewDiePie doing it or not. Jojo is better, you wanna be weeb. Do you understand? <laughs> All those guys that are irrelevant now, but hey, irrelevant. Irrelevant! You're irrelevant. Because they're irrelevant! Gabby Show, another pretty irrelevant YouTuber. Damn, I guess I do say that word a lot. I mean, I guess I'll learn some new. This frame is a clear indication that they just didn't care. My god, I can't believe I had to repeat myself, but that wasn't the point! You were calling out YouTubers who were involved in the rewind, and you were slamming them because you weren't. That's what iDub's point was. One thing that he's very disingenuous about is when he states that all of his videos are jokes. All of my videos are jokes. A lot of people don't understand this. People get actually mad at me like, yo, relax. All my videos are jokes. It's just for fun. I have no beef against this kid. No, they're not. And it's very obvious to anyone who watches your videos that they're not all jokes. You're not playing a character. All right, that is you. You are being yourself in these videos. How are you gonna tell me who I am as a person? As if you f know me. Get off of my dick. So if iDubs can't make assumptions about your content, seems a bit hypocritical and moronic to make assumptions about why he got rid of his older videos. <laughs> You guys like to hear the juiciest bit of hypocrisy? This girl literally came up to me in person, didn't ask me, Hey Rice, do you mind if I vlog? She just came up to me, camera already on, and I was so unexpected. It kind of sounds like he doesn't like being recorded without his consent. How interesting. So basically, he's calling me a hypocrite because I don't like to be filmed without consent, but then again, I film other people. Yeah, you didn't ask them for permission. iDubs shows the girls who get mad at you for not getting their permission to do so in a private setting. You know what's funny? The clip you show right after this proves that you straight up lied to a girl about that, you hack. I'm not streaming though, I just wanted to call you. Oh, you're not? No, I know, I just wanted to call you and just- They just didn't care. But bro, there's a difference, all right? Like, coming up to someone and filming them and then, you know, me being like, yo, could you not? And they keep going. It's completely different from me two years ago, you know, live streaming and someone asked me, am I live? And I'm just like, no. Just so they're just more natural because as soon as they know they're live, they're gonna start acting weird and all awkward. And I just thought it'd be funny if they're just more natural. But filming someone without consent was something I did two years ago. I'm sorry, you know, my bad. I won't do it ever again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 
The only difference is that you went up to them, lied to them, and proceeded to record them without them knowing. It doesn't matter if you think it's more natural, you're actively lying to people about it. You're recording them without their consent. Videotaping a conversation with another person who is unaware you intend to record the conversation and then distributing that recorded conversation to third parties, which is what Twitch is, could subject you to a possible invasion of privacy lawsuit, given a reasonable expectation of privacy where the individual is recorded. This is especially true because, if I remember correctly, you say you live in Nevada, which you know is even worse because, considering the time frame, I'm guessing you lived in Nevada. Because guess what? Both parties need to consent to have a private conversation actually be viewable to a third party. Because it's actually illegal. I'm not sure if it goes for Skype or not, but or whatever you use to actually record. But it's still something I need to point out. However, Idubs actually knows a lot about filming people without consent. <laughs> I think Enhance. Enhance. Enhance, 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 enhance. I'm fucking flexing, dude. Let's see how many, let's see what my monthly earnings are. Oh, over a fucking million? Hell yeah. Yeah, that's right. Me and I dubs were in the same room and he obviously doesn't like me because he's over here zooming in, talking shit. But like, if you don't like me that much to be, you know, talking shit without me knowing and then talking shit online, at least come up to me and say it to my face. Look, I don't know the context of these locations. For all I know, they could be public. I mean, one's a convention. That really all depends on the convention rules. But there's one thing you're forgetting here, ricey boy. Idubs didn't smash someone's phone. That was the point of his segment. You smash someone's property, which can also be against the law. Destruction of private property. So congratulations. Way to miss the point of the segment. Went straight over your head. I don't think there's ever been a better way to inflate your own ego than fabricating your own genius video so you have an excuse to explain your lyrics. Yo, what up? It's your boy Rice. This isn't a joke. This is a real thing. Alright, man. I'll give it to him. He made a lot of valid points throughout his video, right? But what? Are you really criticizing me for making a parody? You make it sound like parodies can't be critiqued. I was gonna explain my lyrics regardless, you know, I didn't do this parody to, you know, prove I'm a real rapper, you know, I just wanted to explain my lyrics, and I knew if I edited, you know, pretty professionally, it could look cool, and it turned out pretty good. I feel like this dude is just hating on me at this point just to hate on me. Wow, way to cut yourself off. And then again, with all the zoom cameras and jump cuts and the editing errors, what was I expecting from a channel that makes thousands upon thousands of dollars per video and over 8 million subscribers? <laughs> But since I know this is like my biggest fan ever, I mean, he remembers everything. I guess I owe someone 10k. But a lot of people are saying my career is over, I'm falling off, you know, after the content cop, things won't be the same because I'm just going down and I'm getting kind of worried. Like, what if that's true and that 10k might come in handy 20 years down the line? Money, money, money. I'm so sorry. Doesn't negate the fact you still squelched out on doing something. And if you're so worried about money, stop earning it on random stuff that you don't need! I know there's gonna be that one guy like, Oh my god, Rice, what the- Give someone 10k, you- Boy, you, you didn't even do the challenge. Your editing sucks. Also, what if the guy who actually won shows up? You gonna tell him that? It is not a coincidence that your music has improved since moving to LA. You're now utilizing a professional music studio where someone else is mixing and mastering all your music. Okay, what? Is this really a point you're making? You realize that most artists out there utilizes a professional studio to make themselves sound better? Are you not able to speak in a coherent sentence? You keep cutting yourself off and your jump cuts are annoying. You have someone who's filming all the videos for you. Wait, what? You're calling me out for using a cameraman? Like, I'm sorry, I need to hire someone to film for me, I mean, I can't vlog my- WARNING! BULLSHITTER ALERT! Why don't you let him finish making his points? You're just jumping in randomly to cut him off. And I know someone's gonna be saying that I'm doing the same thing, especially here. Fine, whatever, but that doesn't negate the fact that he's not addressing the criticism and essentially cutting off what iDubs is saying and getting to his point. I can't vlog my own music video. Like, what do you want me to do? Film my own music video? Like, how is that even possible? This rule of thumb is particularly helpful when you're filming yourself because no one will be behind the camera to keep an eye on things while the camera is rolling. and like react to it and respond to everything he said but like bro this is so boring uh.
Yeah. No, but I was serious. It was a really good video. I mean, you gotta give credit where credit is due. The purpose of a YouTube video is to be funny and entertaining. The video was funny and entertaining. Was, bro, this is so boring. The video was funny and entertaining. Was, bro, this is so boring. The video was funny and entertaining. Was, bro, this is so boring. The video was funny and entertaining. Was, And I'm done. You want to know something? For something that's labeled a diss track, there was only about 15 seconds of a diss track after this segment. More than likely, this video will be out after his official diss track, and well, this video sucked. Do you really need to say more? No, but did it feel good though? <laughs> All this video was, was an attempt at justifying his actions, dodging criticism, and making himself to be more than just a real spoiled brat. This was actually physically painful to do! And you guys made it to the end of the video, I want to thank you. I'm Trash Common, and remember to examine your fandom. Be sure to like, subscribe, and give the channel a little love. See if I have content that you like.